My name is Angel LVR Langley. I also go by Muñeca. Um, right now, I'm a dance teaching artist, and I perform, and I battle, and I organize. I enrolled into Highline 2011, and then I graduated here 2013. Um, and my involvement included um, participating at like the Center for Leadership and Service, and so I was a graphic designer there, but of course, like more than that, like just helping a lot of the student clubs with like social media, how to promote, like, um, and also attending all those like really dope um, workshops that CLS like helps provide with the help of the student body. So what I've done recently actually is um, I started this installation that just happened at Fred Wildlife Refuge called um, Bastos, which means in Tagalog, it means rude or disrespectful, and it's something I heard my mom calling me growing up. And the project was about experience, what are the Filipino American experiences, especially for children of, you know, our parents who immigrated here. And it was in a space that is in Cap Hill. And we had a video on this big infinity wall. And I just, I've never seen like a Filipino person on a big infinity wall ever in that space. So it's sort of like, how am I taking up space? Like, how can I take space? Another project I'm doing is What's Poppin' Ladies. Um, so I'm a, I'm a popper. Well, I aspire to be like a better popper than I am now. Popping especially, like I did not grow up with uh, popping like female role models for the style. In fact, the first time I saw a female popper, I didn't even recognize it as popping because the way they approach the dance was so different than how I've seen it, and I've just never saw it on a femme body, ever. And after that, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for it then. But nowhere in Seattle is there like a woman mentor for me for popping. I don't see female poppers invited to battles very often. Um, a lot of the times battles are organized by men, emceed by men, DJed by men, the invitees are men, the people I'm battling are men. And so the idea is just to bridge and connect female poppers together to strengthen that community and to create a platform for them to share their stories and be in like positions of power that they usually aren't in, which is like teaching, being showcased, being invited, judging, emceeing, like um, it's just like, a different way of organizing, and I just want, wanted to present that. Highline gave me this gift of really being un unapologetic and being fierce, and really this gift of self-reflecting and being really critical about the world. Um, and I think going, you know, later than going to another institution and seeing how that didn't serve me in the same ways Highline did, really like woke me up to, oh, Highline really gave more, more like above and beyond of any other education institution that I've ever been to.